Greetings, young men. This is Principal Kefele. I'm in day two here in Los Angeles, California, speaking to educators nationally, internationally. You know I'm pumped. You know I'm excited. I'm doing what I live for. I'm, I'm living my passion. I'm living my purpose. This is what I'm about. I'm about educating. So enough about me. Let's talk about you. You know, there's so many young men, young women for that matter, but young men in terms of my focus, who have so much potential, have so many skills, have so, have so much ability to do so much, but somebody significant comes along and says, I don't believe in you. And then the young man in turn embraces that lack of belief and then doesn't even go on and pursue whatever that dream was. Well, let me say to you today, young man, if somebody comes to me and says, Principal Kefele, I don't believe in you, that's all the motivation I need. That's all I need. I'm getting ready to soar because I'm getting ready to prove you wrong. I'm getting ready to prove whomever out there wrong if you didn't believe that I could make it happen. But I'm also simultaneously just going to prove to myself, show myself that I can do whatever I set my, my sights on achieving. I can do whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I, can, I conceptualize in my mind that I can do. So my point is for you, young man, when someone comes to you and says they don't believe in you, you let them know, okay, that's all the motivation I need. And now you begin to soar. You put measures in place. You put structures in place, meaning you begin to set your goal, meaning that you begin to write your plan, and meaning that you launch on living that goal, living that plan, doing everything that you wrote in that plan towards showing that individual that, no, I'm going to achieve it. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to achieve it just because the one person said you can't do it, but I'm saying that you add that as a part of your repertoire of what motivates you. So sometimes we procrastinate, sometimes we put things off, sometimes we're tired, sometimes we're just plain out lazy and don't want to do the work on a regular basis, on a daily basis, because we feel we need to take time out. So we need different tools of motivation. We need different vehicles to motivate us within. So I'm saying now when that individual comes and says, it's not going to happen for you. I, I, I don't believe you can do it or I, I, don't, I don't believe it's possible. Now you've got another tool. You've got someone who said to you it can't be done and now you use that as just another tool added to the tools you already have to say, I'm getting ready to elevate my game. So the bottom line is you're not going to be discouraged nor deterred by someone's lack of belief in you. You're not going to be discouraged nor deterred by someone who has the audacity to say to you that I don't believe in you. So what? Who cares about what you believe? What you believe or what you don't believe is so irrelevant, so immaterial, so not meaningful to my life. See, that, that's got to be your mindset. That's got to be your attitude. That it doesn't matter. But in turn, use it as your, as, as your footstool. Use it, as, use it as your stepping stone to the next level. But never allow somebody's lack of belief in you to keep you from moving forward. So again, when they say, I don't believe in you, you say, hey, guess what? I'm getting ready to show you something. In fact, you use that as your tool to take it to an even higher level than you had initially planned to take it. But young man, don't, don't sit back and accept mediocrity for yourself. Don't sit back and accept average for yourself. Don't sit back and accept failure for yourself. Use whatever stimuli out there that can motivate you. And in this, this video, for example, someone's lack of belief in you. Use that as your motivation, as your inspiration to soar higher. I do it all the time. I'm right here in Los Angeles, California. I was at an author's dinner last night of, of authors of this publishing company that publishes my books, which is probably the largest education publisher on the planet Earth. And I remember years back when folks didn't believe in me, when folks didn't think my books would sell, when folks didn't think that I had the name recognition in order for people to want to buy my books. Well, here I am last night at the author's dinner with all these top authors mingling with them 
Principal Kefele in the room, in the house with them because I went on and followed my dream instead of listening to someone who didn't believe in me. So I'm saying to you, it works the same way with you, for you. So let's do it. Let's get it done. Enough said. This is Principal Kefele. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Thanks for listening. Peace.